Hey guys, this is Thomas, drummer of Meshuggah, and you are watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and it's Wikipedia Fact or Fiction time with Meshuggah's Thomas Hauke. Yeah. Thank you very much. You got much. it, man. Yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, that was pretty good. Awesome. I'm, I'm impressed. All right. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. So, Not about pressure. I went through your Wikipedia page, Meshuggah's Wikipedia page, all that stuff. I'm gonna ask you what's right, what's wrong, and you can- Are there lies? I hope so. Oh, there I hope always so too. are, except for one time once. Ah, uh, okay. Let's hope there's a bunch of lies on there. All right. I like that attitude. Okay. Uh, it says that your main influences include Saxon, Iron Maiden, Black Sabbath, Slayer, Testament, and Rush. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, I, would, there's, there, I would change out a few of those. I, Saxon, granted, I mean, we grew up with that, like sure. the British way, but uh, well, as far as like it being an influencer, I mean, no, I wouldn't say that. Maiden, okay, not, not, so not, not so much Maiden either. I mean, when we start getting into the like kind of the metal thing, like metal bands, like Slayer, yeah, a little bit, you know. Uh, anthrax, uh, you know, Megadeth, early mm. early years, uh, Metallica, and stuff like that okay. was definitely like one of them. They were huge influences for the band on, on the in the early years, you know. Oh yeah, you can hear that on yeah. those early records for yeah. sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, not quite so true. Yeah. not quite, not quite yeah. true. Some no. truth in there. Yeah. Uh, contradictions collapse. The album was originally titled "All This Because of Greed." That is true. That is true. That is true. Okay. What was the uh, the reason for the album change? Uh, <laughs> because back then we didn't really, we couldn't commission a, a cover, you know. So okay. what we tried with all this because agreed, and the artist came back with something. It was just so lame. That it, was it was just, just like uh, ah, I'm not even. Gonna, yeah, it was so horrible. So uh, we basically had, and that's why, like some people wonder, what is that Statue of Liberty doing and with the like, uh, right. like with the. You know, like a nuclear bomb, like going off in the background. Yeah. Yeah. So, not commissioned, obviously. We got actually three different images from our label, and they said pick one of them. Pick, okay. Yeah, pick one of these three. So, Statue of Liberty albums. was that's, the best. So that was the best one. And, and that's like, yeah. So, and then like Statue of Liberty, atomic bomb, contradiction, contradictory kind yeah. of contradictions collapse, and it's that's just makes sense. Yeah. But, well, it makes sense. Kind of, but yeah, that's how we did it back <laughs> More then. More than the other two, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So. It said that during the Nun EP era, you injured your hand in a grinder accident. Mm-hmm. What is a grinder accident exactly? Well, I don't know if it, it's actually a router for me. It's not even called a grinder, it's a router. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you can even see that, but you see it. Oh, yes. Finger there. Yeah, so I kind of took bit. that side of that finger off and kind of the tips of these and all the nails and everything. Oh boy. So yeah, so we're pretty bad. But uh, not only that, but the same year, like two months previous or later, I don't remember, Frederick, uh, the guitarist, actually chopped this finger off yeah. right off, off that knuckle there, like completely off. He got the Tony Iommi, right? Yeah. yeah, so he has it now like stitched back on like that, and it's the same length as the index finger, so it's way shorter. So it took him a long while before he got, got used to kind of losing you know, one third of an inch on length yeah. of that finger, you know. For sure. That was a bad year. <laughs> for a bad year for our fingers, no doubt. It was actually earlier though. It wasn't none. It was more like oh okay ninety. What like right same year as we did Contradictions Collapse. Right right after. Oh okay. Right gotcha. after we did that album. Yeah. All right. Tiny bit of fiction there. Yeah. Tiny yeah. bit of fiction. Right. Uh, destroy, erase, improve. Uh, it's a basis. Peter Norton left the band during the supporting tour because he was suffering from vertigo. Sounds weird, right? It is a little weird. Yeah. Like I think of that Hitchcock movie. Yeah. Well, vertigo for me, that's like when you get up on the, something high, you get a fear yeah. of height, you know, like get that sensation. But I guess sure. you can have that like, it's, it's like a balance, like inner ear, oh, inner like ear balance problem. thing, okay. I guess. Right. Um, and he never got rid of it, actually. He still has that. So he, he doesn't fly. He doesn't like, oh, he doesn't God, travel. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't travel very far by car and stuff like that. So he's, it's, it's something that's gonna be with him his whole life. But it, yeah, it got really bad on that tour, and he was basically just in the bunk and uh, 
on the tour bus the last couple of days and just like he, he just felt like he was free falling basically oh my god so he was just pale and just sweating he and and uh so he had to go home and, yeah. and he was hospitalized and and uh, yeah he was never in the band again unfortunately we're still good friends friends with him and oh, good, he's yeah. an awesome dude but yeah yeah he kind of is to. he coping better with it is he oh yeah yeah some ways? obviously yeah good, it's good it's not a big factor in his life today but good. it's he just avoids certain things you know okay well, i'm glad to hear that there's uh, too much truth in here where's the where's the we've lies? got some good lies okay. but you know what i did find a contradiction maybe this will work for us okay it says on Wikipedia, on one page, that Meshuggah do not write concept albums. But on the Catch 33 page, it said it is a concept album revolving around different kinds of paradoxes. Yes. It is a concept album. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Meshuggah does write concept albums on occasion. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> we have to. Yeah. We, that's, yeah. Would that be the only one that you would yeah. consider to be a concept album? Yeah, pretty much. Obzen. Uh, the top half of the artwork shows a male model in the Zen Lotus position, but the bottom half features a female model. Uh, this is because the male model could not perform the Lotus position, uh, and thus the figure became androgynous. Yeah. That's true. Well, we wanted the figure to be andro androgynous. You wanted that anyway. Androgynous. Andr yeah. yeah. I so we, that was something that we went for because it wasn't supposed to be a male, really male yeah. or female. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much true. It's not nah, it's not a big enough lie to really no. like tickle our nerves. Was here. the male uh, model not able to do the lotus yeah, position? Yeah, I guess, I guess and, that's true. That part of it's true, I guess. Uh, 2009, Mashuga was forced to cancel shows due to a herniated disc in your lower back, which caused problems with your right foot while playing. Yeah, more truth. That's more truth. Yeah. <sighs> what to do, what to do. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, tell we me about done the... A quick rewrite of the Wikipedia before it came uh, you in. You see it, people, it people say that all the time, but I yeah. just got to keep it pure. Oh, yeah. But um, how did, uh, how was the recovery process for that sort of thing? It's, uh, it's still ongoing. Still? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't really have back pains and stuff like that anymore. But uh, yeah, as far as like the playing, it's still, you know, a factor in, in my playing, you know. Mm. So I don't, I don't really trust this right side and no. I depend on it. So sure. It's like you, you walk up on stage and it's like, Phew, I hope it's okay tonight. Oh, wow. Have yeah. there been shows where it, it's, it's sort of hard for like your, your neurons to communicate with the, the leg Yeah, sometimes the it's just like a glitch there. Like instead of like when you're trying to do a hit, it will swivel instead. Yeah. But the, I mean, the problems were at its worst before the surgery, obviously, where it got to the point I could not control the right foot at all. Not and a, it not would all. just even not even stay on the pedal. It would like kind of pull in under the seat and I would have to kind of throw it back on the pedal. And it would just slowly Jeez. kind of pull. No quick fix. You know, we still had to play, but it sounded really crappy f for some time. And then it's just over the years, but it's by small increments and not like by week to week or month by month. It's like a year later, you're like, yeah, maybe it's Maybe it is a little better, you know. And then sure. a year, two years later, after that, you're like, yeah, yeah. I think I feel like I got some more control. So it's a very, very, very slow like recovery process. But at the same time, I guess you learn your, you learn to kind of work around it as well, you yeah. know. So so I will sometimes like place my foot like I went almost on the side like that, and yeah, like yeah, play okay. the like here's the pedal instead of playing it like that. I will like side do it that? like okay. sideways. Because certain parts, it, it won't do what I want it to do unless yeah. I do that kind of thing. Huh. And sometimes I believe when even like swiveled it a little bit like inwards like that. So it's like you, you, you work around it, you know. Well, long recovery process, more reason for Meshuggah to keep making music and to stay around. So exactly. Just going to get better and better. Yep. Uh, it said that Meshuggah is the band that coined the term gent. Not true. There we go. Some yeah. fiction there. Yeah, finally, man. Yeah, I was, How, do we even? It's a high five. That's like '90s, right? We don't do that anymore. Uh, we can high five. Oh, all right, man. Yeah, we found yeah. A, we found a blatant lie. Go on. No, I, I, well, at least to my knowledge, it's gent. Yeah, no, that we we didn't coin that term. I think it was Periphery who did that, and at least what I've heard. But yeah, not Mashuga. It said uh, in 2011, uh, for your previous marriage, you were wed by an Elvis impersonator. That is true. That's true. Yeah. That that just sounds fun. 
it was fun, but it's still just another truth. It's, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I don't mean to disappoint you, yeah. I promise. But we got a contradiction. We got the gent thing out of the way, which is, I think, pretty good. And yeah. Little things. You're disappointed. Yeah. Well, sorry. pretty much anyone can edit those, though, right? Uh, yeah, well, that... Yeah. yeah, so we'll for the next time, we'll make it ridiculous beforehand. You know, we'll do just that. just lies. Okay, yeah. Yeah. we'll absolutely do that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. I want to thank you so much for stopping yeah, by. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it very much. New Meshuggah album coming very soon. Pick it up. Yeah.